Welcome back. So in this lesson, we're going to go over how to nest parts. We're going to go over um, some basic, there's kind of copy and paste is how you're going to be primarily um, doing nesting in the MyPlasm software. Um, but it's pretty simple if you're able to just make a nice nest that's a little bit smaller with smaller parts, and then you can replicate that nest all the way up the sheet. Um, so once you have your parts loaded in, it's important that you get them positioned in relatively where you want them. Um, for instance, this part where I have this lead-in that's crossing over, I'm gonna to wanna to position that away. So I'm gonna do some quick movement on the parts and then we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste and replicate those up the sheet. So um, notice I'm clicking and dragging across these two parts. I wanna be completely covering them and letting go of the cursor. Um, now I can hold and I can drag it off to the side. I'll let go right there. I'm keeping uh, relatively about a quarter of an inch. I'm using the holes as a reference point. So I'm just looking at these quarter inch holes using those as a reference to gauge. That's roughly a quarter inch away from the sheet. Um, you'll see when you start to cut more, um, when it really comes into a lot of these very small areas, um, you're better off not spending as much time trying to, you know, save a little bit of material, um, unless it's something where obviously it's a very big part, um, just because in the grand scheme of what you should be charging for the parts, you should be able to, to charge a good amount of money to where you're not having to worry about a quarter inch of remnant material. Um, so now this piece, I'm just going to hover over it. Same thing. I'm going to grab it, move it. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. Control C, click. So I, once again, I scrolled over it so it's highlighted. And then I hold Control, tap C on my keyboard. That's a hotkey um, on Windows across any software, uh, pretty much. So um, I'm going to click here, and then I just hold Control and tap V. And then if I scroll out, there's my piece right here. Um, I can click, drag it. If I want to rotate this, I can go up to the top. Uh, this will do a 90 degree rotation. And that rotates it 90, and then I click it again, went another 90, and I can drop this right there. So now that's there, that's a relatively good nest. I want to put one more of these just above here, so I'm just going to hover over this, copy, control C, control V. There it is. I'm going to grab it. that and then I'll probably maybe I'll get one more set of these here. I'm going to drag over and get one more set of these. Control C, Control V. There we go. There we go. That fits there nicely. Um, now I'm going to take the whole thing. I'm going to move this piece over away from the side edge. Like that. Same thing with this piece. Nope, I missed it. You want to make sure you're grabbing right on the line. Nope. There we go. So position that there. Um, now I'm just going to hover over everything. And I'm just going to go right here, I'm going to scroll in, and I'm just going to take this up from the edge, and about there. Alright, so, now to duplicate this, I'm going to copy it, Control c Control v and now I can scroll in, grab this edge, and I can drop these right there. Um, don't worry about getting them. Uh, place too well. Notice that once I let go, um, they're still highlighted. So what you can do is you can scroll in um, and do a better adjustment. So right here, it looks like I have an interference. So I can scroll in and then I can just grab this line again and I can drag that up out there. Um, so that looks good. And also, if I wanted to drop, you know, another one up, another one of these pieces in here, I can grab that. Control C, Control V. Alright, 
So now what I can do is I can just scroll over all of these. Uh, control C, Control V, same thing. Kind of just drop it up here, get it above it. So that's it. So that's the basics to doing a quick nest. Um, that'll get you through. You can dive right here. I have a four foot by eight foot sheet. Um, if you wanted to change that sheet size, you can go right up here to this configuration option. And you can change that from our X on our machines, our gantry spans um, the X foot or the X axis direction. And then the Y runs the length of the table. Um, so right now your table would be set up. You'd be homing in this bottom left hand corner. Once this is done, um, you can just click the check. It's going to bring it right into the software, um, and you'd be ready to cut. So you can home your machine by clicking Ref XYZ. It's going to home itself, uh, move to those positions. So I notice it's moving here. It's right at the bottom corner. Then what you can do is run your mouse right to the position of the very corner of the sheet. And then once you get there, you can just click on this bottom left hand arrow and that centers the sheet right where, or it, it rather um, indexes the sheet right where the tip of your torch is. If you wanted to take the sheet and rotate it, um, you can hold shift or you can hold shift for a high speed jog, controls the low speed, um, but you can run the torch up. And say I run up the edge of my sheet and my sheet is a little bit crooked and I want to rotate the parts, I can jump in just a little bit right to there. And now what I can do is I can right click my mouse key on this upper left and then it rotates my whole sheet and it'll map it to the sheet that you that you have on the table if it's a little crooked. So uh, if you wanted to get it back, you can oh, get it in position there. Just click it and it'll go right back to the position. Uh, so anyways, that's all there is to it. So feel free, any questions that you have ever uh, reach out to us at support at squickmans.com. Um, if you have any video requests, you can drop them in there. So any tutorials like this that you want to see done, feel free to drop a request in the support at Squickmans um, and we'll be sure to jump on there and respond to that video and get you something out. And um, normally it takes a few days uh, maximum three to four days and we'll get a video back and it'll be posted. Everything is accessible through the Google Drive. You can also download those links and you can watch those videos offline um, as well as all these videos are preloaded to your computer. Um, we'd recommend attaching a Google Drive to that computer so that you can store this existing Google Drive and not take up any hard drive space on the control PC. Um, so anyways, if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. As always, um, tech support hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, but otherwise, you have all of these great videos that you can go back and reference to be able to figure out how to run through the operation of the machine. Um, as we move forward, we'll also be uploading real-time um, use of the machine, doing these nests, cutting out the parts. Um, so keep tuning in. Keep checking the Google Drive. There will always be more videos added to it. Um, and we look forward to talking with you next time. So thanks so much for watching, guys.